I opened up the uh, subfloor where the shower stall uh, was and where it's going to be. I'm actually expanding the size of the shower uh, from what it was previously to a little bit uh, larger. So it's going to be approximately 42 by 42. Um, so this is the area in which I plan on building the shower, but um, what I had previously was a curb, I had a curb shower with a pan liner and I am wanting to create a, um, a curbless entry shower or a zero entry shower. So I'm going to have to make some changes to the structure to, to support a, a zero entry shower. So I know that um, I'm going to be continuing to use the, the existing subfloor, which is uh, about a half inch. And I'm going to be adding another piece of three quarter inch subfloor on top of everything. Um, or at least this area, not the shower area. So that gives me an inch and a quarter height over uh, over just the joist height. So I'm going to be an inch and a quarter higher from right there. And I'd like to get about two inches uh, above the main shower floor. So I'm going to have to lower the shower floor at least three quarters of an inch. Uh, so to do that, I need to notch out these joists uh, by an inch and a half. And that's perfect because these are, since these are two by tens, um, I can only take out uh, one and a half inches uh, from the top or the bottom to notch. And I can only notch uh, the outer thirds of, of the joist, which is fine because I am on the outer third because this is the end of the house here. So I uh, should be okay there. Um, and that's to maintain structure. Uh, structural rigidity of the of the joist but I, the joist is gone now so uh, it, it's not really creating any structure I mean it's it's over top of of uh, this outer wall because this is cantilever here this is just an overhang on the back um, but I, I plan on notching these at one and a half so that I can put a piece of three-quarter inch uh, subfloor in here um, and still have a piece of three quarter uh, still have three quarters of an inch drop um, so what I'm planning on doing is uh, getting some two by uh, two by eights and sistering them one here one here one here and then another another over here um, and then I'm gonna notch these two an inch and a half all the way down uh, so that I can uh, set that piece of three quarter inch board all the way across and have a uniform. So know that when you're trying to lower the floor, you know, you have to meet structural codes, you know, for, for notching joists. So I, I know that, you know, that, that because this is nine inches tall in actuality even though it's a two by ten that one sixth of, of nine inches is one and a half inches so that's perfect but even so I'm adding those sister two by eights there so that gives me my structural rigidity or it maintains it even though I may have compromised a little bit um, on the structural rigidity of these two boards right here when I notch them out um, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add some blocking to these areas here. Um, I want to put a 2 by 10 underneath this wall and kind of make it flush against this piece of subfloor um, so that I have something to nail to right here and not just on the joist. Plus it kind of gives some support to this end lip that's right here um, and then I'm gonna put another piece of blocking that's the 2x8 
so that the piece of plywood that I set here has something to attach on the perimeter so it's not just open air so it, it has some some structure to uh, so that I can attach to it and I'm also going to do it on on the opposite side as well as far as you know plumbing is concerned um, the pipe is is in the right place actually because uh, this is the start of my shower wall and this is actually 21 inches <laughs> exactly I mean I can move it a, a little bit here or there but it's actually where it needs to be <clears throat> uh, so that's perfect from from a center standpoint I don't really have to do a lot of bending I don't think uh, and I can adjust it as I need to with the new P trap that I that I put, I just need to make sure that I center it from from uh, side to side this way. Um, but I I'll cut that off and, and make it fit the way it needs to. You have to consider how much of a floor drop you need because the fall for the water for the drain has to be a quarter inch per foot. So I know that from this point to that far corner, the furthest that's about 29 to 30 inches so uh, 24 inches means I got a quarter inch per foot so I know it I need at least at 24 inches I know I need at least a half inch drop um, but at 30 inches I'm gonna need it probably another quarter inch so I'm thinking three quarters of an inch uh, a drop from here to there and from here to there and from here to there so I know that I have to drop three quarters of an inch and I know I want at least an inch to an inch and a quarter mortar uh, thickness at the drain right at the drain you don't want it too thin um, right here so you need to have enough thickness here and then it's got to get thicker over there so if, if if it's an inch and a quarter thickness here at the drain then I'm gonna be at two inches right there which will put me right at right at the lip here once I get um, to this section here it'll be just flush with the with the uh, plywood floor and then I can run my uncoupling membrane all throughout the shower and the regular floor um, so you need to kind of consider how much drop you need because of how much mortar you need right here at the center of this versus what's going to be at the at the outer edges of the uh, of the walls because I'm looking at the old drain and it had approximately an inch inch and a, inch and a quarter <clears throat> because the uh, you got a quarter inch for the tile right there so so they only had an inch and I'll have an inch inch and a quarter so that's plenty of drop and plenty of mortar underneath there to be strong um, and then I'll put my waterproofing on top of that. So that's that's kind of my plan to, to, to develop that. I'm gonna go ahead and work through it and I'll show you what I what I come up with as I as I build it out.